I haven't, seen, I haven't seen Gerald Phantasma in a minute, man. I know he plays Fox in uh, Smash 4. I believe he still plays Fox in this game. Definitely he locals like your region. Uh, free locals. Frequents, Frequents. You're a local. The a little bit more. Yeah, um, yeah. Out in the... Over there. And Hat, too. Yeah, Hat yeah. is actually... Uh, it's also... Is that 818, technically? I, I can't say it. It's, mm, what, what is it, it's in Hollywood, so... What is that? I mean... <laughs> what area code more, is More likely 323 than anything. Oh, but. you right. Honestly, I'm not a Hollywood. I'm not. I'm not an LA boy. I'm, I'm a Valley boy, so I can't. I, I can't really say anything that's not 818. I just don't know. <laughs> I understand. That's why I was like, I, yeah, I don't uh, know. No, <laughs> I'm just trying to pretend that I've been sheltered. I never left the 818. Wow. You know what? I'm. So, I'm just so glad to be around such high energy people honestly like every, everybody's man. in it to win it today i see so many game faces from so many so many people that smile at me everybody <laughs> in the hallways and the annals of smash history everybody <laughs> being a hundred over 160 people who are here entering the bracket some i'm sure are just here to spectate it but let's get into spectating this match before us ourselves this is gonna be game one gerald phantasma days and it's gonna be wolf Okay, all right. Well, all the fucks. Yeah, the last time I saw him, Gerald Fantasma was still rocking the fox. But like, you know, there, <laughs> there's not too many of those left around. Uh, here. So, <laughs> hey, man, you know what? Why use one space team when you can use them all? Yeah, yeah you're right. You know what? There's 78 char uh, 70 something characters in this game. I, I would, I would love to see right. more people playing. So we already saw a little bit of what Wolf can do when we saw T Mac in the last set. And that was against a, uh, a different character. Here we have another character who is probably a contender for that top five spot alongside Wolf. Wolf. So, and now you know what? That's actually funny, Edmund. I'm going to steal the words right out of your mouth. But Gerald Phantasma is saying, hold up. I am the gatekeeper of top five. And if Pichu has any, any say in that. Oh, dang. Oh, what no. Happened? The momentum. Wolf being oh, a gatekeeper oh, of the top okay, five. Oh, okay, okay. He, something, uh, yeah, okay, I saw him like pressing his triggers and I guess his triggers weren't working. I saw that gesture, but then when the uh, screen popped up, it was because he had reset his controller. controller right. Yeah. So he reset his controller as he spawned back so that he, he could be able to press his trigger. Sometimes oh, when you plug in your controller, your right, shield buttons right, don't right. work and no, it, it throws you off. No, I understand. Yeah. And actually, now that I think about it, um, that was actually a very, very well-timed Time to actually restart yeah. your controller yeah. considering you yeah, had already sure. died. Uh, just to be polite to the other player. Yeah, absolutely. I know I mentioned that the momentum had left a little bit, but it's okay. I mean, in all, in all, in all things considering, you don't want to play a whole game without your L button or your R button. Yeah, and I mean, also, I mean, just like, I don't know. I guess, like, if Gerald Phantasma, like, wanted to say, like, yo, like, that's a stock. Is it technically unplugging your controller? No, it isn't. He, he, he used the dig digital method. Right, uh, He's right. smart. He was smart, yeah. All right. Yeah. So, anyways, we got two stocks apiece here. Day is actually doing a really good job of bringing this back, despite being handicapped yeah. for that entire first stock. Man, he's doing a really great job. And I mean, it's a little rough for someone like Pichu when you're one of the lightest characters in the game, and you know everything that Wolf has hits pretty hard. You're you're more likely to die to a straight hit that down here. I'm so glad that Gerald Phantasma died in to not get spiked off stage. Okay, rolls around the up smash. Days. Full hop Thunder oh, Jolt, not going to follow up. Barely missed that jab follow up. The jab lock certainly would have gotten the forward smash for the KO. I mean, that would have gotten the KO 20% ago. <laughs> Pichu being the powerhouse that it is. Wow. Okay, the dash tack. Oh, okay. Trying well, to make a statement. Back air, going to take that stock. Days, looking, setting himself up to, to take this extra credit, take this game one. Okay. Let's see what Jail Fantasma has to say about that. Okay. All right, we're starting to see combos. I mean, Wolf is the perfect like weight and combo, uh, and weight and height to get comboed, but he's not gonna get comboed for much longer as he gets the back throw by the ledge. Yeah, that's a little rough. Going back to Peach oh, being light. Oh no, jump! jump. Gone, yeah. Oh, Ooh. we've been seeing so many people try to punish F Smash. Yeah, oh, and, with F Smash. Oh my God, that and, was a great dive. And honestly, like it wasn't worth for Jello Phantasma to go for such a high Wolf Flash. It's it, it was a little greedy, but it worked out for him. Like, yeah. But if he keeps doing that throughout the next. Like couple games, he may he may actually get punished if the, the opponent you know releases <laughs> <laughs> their attack at the at the, the right, right time. time. Yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. Same train of thought there, to be honest. And I, I feel like the way Wolf Flash works, it, it actually benefits you to aim for the ledge when your opponent yes. knows you're gonna throw it out. Yeah, um, for sure. I feel like most of the time it's actually just safer to even up B to the ledge. Like that's true. Yeah. Depending depending on what your opponent is ready to it's react also, it's to. It's also situational for sure.
Absolutely. Uh, Wolf Flash becomes a lot safer too when your opponent has already committed to going off stage. Right. Yeah. I mean, the essence of recovery itself is. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Now he's gone. Oh, oh no! no, no. He Oh, that's so hard to say. He, yeah, he lived. He too, dead. It was He's too far. <laughs> I thought maybe he had a double jump for some reason, but no. Yeah, like if he had double jump, he would have made it back. But yeah, Days taking a very quick lead right here in this game too. Uh, the down air was just very clutch. He took the. He had no jump there, so um, Gerald Phantasma eating another up tilt to fair. More bread and butter combos from Pichu. Okay, and it's always rough in the beginning of the stock because everything combos. So we'll really never know how this plays out until about seventy or eighty percent. Okay, Skull Bash not gonna do it for days there. Might have been a misinput. Okay, two dash tags whiffing. Gerald Phantasma getting in there, finding himself in this. I mean, he's really not that behind despite despite how it looks because yeah, I know I one mean, stray back air, one stray, and he's throwing those moves oh. out a lot. But right now he's going down. <laughs> <laughs> He's Three going stocks down. to one. I am taking you down through the gutter, son. Oh, Where, who, is this your king? Dude, that sucked. That forward tilt would have taken the, the the KO. Oh my god. Yeah, that, I mean, I mean, forward tilt actually being being a, a very very good KO move. You can kind of throw back. Oh my god, double jump in the blast zone. I can't serve his life. Good DI or just it wasn't getting. It killed. was both. Yeah, maybe both. Um. Oh no. It, it was definitely good DI. He sniped with the thunder jolt. Dazed. He stole that game too. He ran off with that. My God.